and welcome back to my channel Little Pearls of Randomness and this is a tad random. My name is Lauren and today I'm doing this Halloween zombie makeup look for you. Okay, so today's look is really about getting as pale a skin as possible and then just going to town, sort of making yourself look pretty beaten up, um, infected, not looking your best anyway, which is so much fun with makeup. If you want to see how I achieve this awful look, then <laughs> please keep watching. First things first, I've got to prime my face and prepare it for the foundation. And I'm using the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. This stuff is so nice and is so smoothing on your skin. I love it. And now I'm using my least favourite foundation, which is the Tarte Rainforest in Porcelain. This stuff is super pale, so it's quite good for this look. And unfortunately, it has seemed to have separated, so it requires a good shake before use. I ended up using two coats of this foundation to really make my face look super white and get those pigments going over any sort of more red areas of my face. Next I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer. I love this stuff, it is totally worth the hype. And I'm just kind of using it to just prime underneath my eyes and over my eyes and help the eyeshadow stick a bit better. I'm going to leave my eyebrows as they are and I'm going to powder my face using the NARS pressed setting powder. This stuff is really good and it just takes the stickiness out of the foundation and the concealer. Okay so now I need to start creating the wounds on my face and I'm using the FX Paste and Light to do this. So I just sort of use my finger and dab it on and create uh, a layer of the paste on my face. Sometimes I like to double up layers and create more 3D looks with it, but it's really easy to apply and really easy to work with. Once you're happy, just let it dry. Okay, so to the fun bit, basically you just start picking at your face and pulling bits apart and giving it more of a realistic wound look. Really easy to work with. And I know you shouldn't do this, but I very carefully decided to make some better holes using scissors. Yep, just be very careful using scissors. And I'm just hiding any fingerprint marks. So now I'm going to give the wounds some dimension and I'm going into the sleek eyeshadow palette in Sunset using the black. I'm going to go into the holes first on my face and just sort of create a look of depth in there and it also looks better with the blood, also creating shadows underneath the wound. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some colour. I'm going to go with the deepest shade of red that I have in that palette and just sort of create a look going around the outside edge of that wound so it looks really inflamed and nasty. With those red colours in there, I'm just going to dabble a bit. So going more dark towards the inside of the wound and then going more light on the outside and just giving it a look of, you know, something's happened on my face and it's been pretty nasty. So I want to make myself look like I'm a little bit infected so I'm going into the sleek eyeshadow palette in the original range and I'm going to use those green and yellow colors to create more of an infection sort of look where the skin's where it's looking like it's dying. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm moving on to underneath my eyes and on top of my eyes. So I want to look like I'm really, really tired and not, yeah, just looking really awful. And reds are really good to do this to give you a more tired look. So I'm just sort of going around the eye in red colours and then I'm going in with more dark colours around the inside and making sure I get to my inner corner with the more dark colours because that will also give you more of a tired look. It's important to remember while doing this to blend out around your eyes, it makes your eyes look bigger and it also gives you more of a bruised look. On my right temple I've decided to go for more of a spotty bruised look so I'm just doing some spots with some purples and some blacks. Now I'm moving on to the bite on my neck which is the source of my infection and I'm going back in with that FX paste and creating more of a ridged look around there so I'm using quite a bit of that paste to do so. And this is about when my camera battery died. Right back in the light and now since it's dried I'm just going in and doing that same thing with the black on the inside and then going for more of a red look around the outside and just blending it out further so darker colors on the inside and then lighter colors as you go out I didn't blend this one out too much because I'm wanting to put some yellow tones around the outside edge and up my neck. So I'm using the sleek eyeshadow palette in Eau Naturale and I'm using the yellow tones in this. Those are quite good because they're quite flat looking. Back into the original palette and I'm going to be creating some veins going up my neck. So some really greeny kind of coloured ones. Gives it that look that this is where it's spread to. And the happiness on my face really says it all. I'm going to be using the FX Coagulated Blood just to put those within the wounds and give it a more realistic look that it's old blood and it's sort of dried. The good thing about this stuff is that it doesn't budge too much so it doesn't dry on your skin it just sort of sits there. And I'm just using what's left on my foundation brush to knock out the colour of my lips and to give me more of that dead look. And of course I wanted to make it look like I've had a feast of someone so I put some blood around my mouth. Okay, so I also want a little bit of dripping blood so I'm using the FX Stage Blood and I'm just putting a little bit on my lip and a little bit in all those wounds. Okay, so that is the final zombie look. Uh, that's my take on a zombie anyway, looking pretty disheveled, mottled, slightly bruised. I guess if you wanted to take it to the next level, you can get those uh, milky contact lenses, but I don't like sticking things in my eyes, so that's why I didn't go there. Um, yeah, you can get a lot of this stuff um, from Body Fix. Uh, it's actually pretty, it's not that expensive to get. Um, just depends how crazy you want to go with your Halloween makeup look. It's actually not that hard to put together if you've got all the colours. So yeah, the sleek palettes are very cheap. Um, I think you can buy them online and stuff. So um, yeah, this is my zombie look. <laughs> 
anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up next week i'll be coming back with another um halloween look haven't quite decided what i'm doing yet but um hopefully it won't look quite so horrific as this one anyway see you guys back here next week on my channel for now bye